Hello game devs, welcome back to another Chitraval Flex tutorial. So today um, I will be showing you how to um, use a score across various stages. So um, this tutorial was requested by someone. Um, so as usual you can also make your tutorial request and place it in the comment section below. So let's have a preview of what this would look like um, once we're done or what this is all about. Okay, so using the same score across stages, so as you can see it sets zero and this is stage one. I place this um so um, we know um, what stage we're on. So 200, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6. So that stops at 6. So this um teleports up to the next scene. So there we go. This is the stage two and the score still sets 600, so it keeps on going. 7, 8, 9. Um, so thousand, a thousand, one hundred, and this takes our player to the third stage. Here we go, still set to a thousand, one hundred, and here we go, it keeps on adding. Um, this way, okay. So, um, if I had a stage four, I would use this block to teleport our player or to change the scene. Okay, so this is what we will be doing today. Okay, close that, minimize, open to evolve so we. If you're new to Jdevelop, Jdevelop is an easy to use game creator with no programming language to learn. That means you can use it without learning or uh, without knowing a single code. Okay, so create a new project. Um, platformer, I will be using the platformer. Okay, so I will take my player out and just for now, um, I need to delete. This we need to make our scene ready for this tutorial. Okay, I'll just make it really that zoom. And here we go. Delete all of this and make sure you don't delete your school. Okay, delete that. Um center view. Okay, that's 50%. Okay, that's zoom. So this would be our stage one. Let's create effects to show that this would be our stage one. So um text okay stage one text um stage one size of set it to about 40 um bold okay apply so this is not useful really I just want to um so you know what stage we're on layer GY okay let's bring up play downwards there we go. Now let's place coins um to serve us our to help our player get points or score. So let's place that here. If you could just place a random position, we would get the same X Y position using a very easy way. So just place that um any Y position you like. Okay. So we could get this all straight. Zoom out, um, zoom out. So now select every single coin you have there, and on the Y position, you set that to about 510. So that positions every single coin on the same Y position. Okay, let's add a portal to change to teleport our player or to change the scene. So sprite, add an animation, edit a pistol. Okay, so just get a color, um, let's say this. Okay. Here we go. Save and name this. Exit. Just name this. Exit. Okay. Apply. And place some around here. Okay, so this would teleport our player to the next. And now let's go to our events. Um, let's just create all stages first. So I would create a group right here. Group. Bold this and name this stage one. Um, add a sub condition. Sorry, stage one. So create um creating a group helps your work looks um helps your event look um really organized. So um condition collision. 
So collision um the player is in collision with the object which is exit okay add an action scene so we need to change to the scene presently we don't have a scene we would have to create that um change to scene so I'll just fill in a name which I would give to my scene which would be scene two I would create the scene right now so it would change to the scene two now um let's come to our project manager game settings sorry here we go rename this the first scene rename um stage one okay open that up purchase manager now duplicate that duplicate we get um our stage 12 rename now that will be our stage 2 um i will move this downwards here we go move down and duplicate your stage 2 duplicate so i'm just creating um three stages just in case you have um this amount of stages well it doesn't really matter you can keep on going um okay so rename stage three okay now let's go edit our stage two let's edit this edit effects to display stage sorry effects to display stage two object name stage two apply um okay let's take out some coins we don't want the same value we just delete this we don't want the same value in all stages okay that will be our stage 2 and also in our events change to scene stage 3 okay so it would change to the scene sorry stage 3 and not scene 3 stage 3 we also need to do this in our um, stage 1 events we made a miss right here Okay, so not scene two, but rather stage two. Okay, so this is um the name we gave to our scene. Okay, now let's open up our stage three. Um, let edit that. Edit and object name three. Text to display three and apply let's give this random values also okay so delete and stage one now let's preview this preview okay so here we go um okay so this is total Coins obtainable in this stage 900. That takes us to our stage 2. Um, the total coins obtainable would be 500. And our next stage, um, which is our stage 3, um, the total coins obtainable would be 600. So we have 900, um, 5 and 600. Okay, so now let's go fill in some events. So in our stage 1 event, um, here we go. Add an empty event. So we need to create a global variable and set it to the variable score. So just in case you're new to develop, oh, you haven't seen this example, you need to look at the um, GI management. Choose scene. Okay, stage one. Just um, here we go. So this is the scene variable score. So you have to use the exact um, same word. Um, okay, so new scene events or stage one events. Scroll back to the top. Um, add an action global variable here we go value of a global variable let's create one right now um here we go so we'll name this let's say score link on the score link score link um let's leave the value empty um modification size set to value this call link now let's get a scene variable out here scene variable so value of a scene variable which is our variable which is score apply okay so it will change the global variable score link to the variable score so this would we're creating this global variable because this works across scenes while the scene variable works um only in a scene 
okay so um that's all for stage one now let's go to our stage two okay so add an empty event um let's get add a condition so at the beginning of the scene we need to set the scene variable in this stage which is school to the global variable which we got uh which here which we get from the school here so we go add an action um scene variable value of the scene variable variable school um this set to value of a global variable i'll just type that out global variable there we go global variable now you need to fill in the name of the global variable which is school on the school link close that up okay so this will change the scene variable in this in school to the global variable um school link which was saved from the previous scene here and okay let's go to our stage one and preview Okay, so here we go. 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Cohesion. Um, now, as you can see, we're stage 2, and this still, uh, we still have 900 here. Okay, let's go. Um, I need to something. Okay, so here we go. Now, with collision, it comes to the stage 3, and it set this to 0 because. We need to set the global variable score link in our stage 2 to um, the scene variable. So add an empty event. Uh, we don't need to add a condition here. So add an action um, global variable. Okay, so value for global variable um, variable score link sign set to, to the value which is the variable. So this will write the current, um, sorry, not this rather a variable so this would write the current variable value of scene variable score so this would write the current scene variable in um, the score which would be assessed in our stage 3 so let's go to our stage 3 um, add an empty event okay so um, add condition beginning of the scene so at the beginning of the scene we need to set because by default it sets the um the value of the scene variable to zero so we need it to set it to the current uh we need to read the global variable and set it to the global variable so here we go add an action global variable value of the global variable global variable oh, sorry um a scene variable and set it to the scene variable we need to edit the scene variable so variable score um sign set to value there we go global variable value of a global variable um name of global variable score link apply okay so let's go to our stage one um that's all preview that's all the events we need um okay so here we go um, three four five six seven eight 900 okay so stage two it adds to it um it continues okay um 1400 again oh something's up right here it goes back to our 900 let's up real quick okay so stage two events um okay we're supposed to have an event okay i think i We've seen a problem. We're supposed to have an event here. I think we pasted it in our stage one. It's not supposed to be here. So, um, cut this and paste it in your stage two paste. So this um, this will change the global variable score link to the variable score. Um, this will give us a preview of this. Um, let's go to our stage one and preview this. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900. Um, that's in collision. Okay, 1,000. Um, that keeps going. There we go. Um, okay, so as you can see, the stage 3 continues from 1,400 all the way to 2,000. So, um, if you notice something, we use this here. Um, change the global variable scrolling to the variable score and in our stage 3 events we did not add that here so if you're wondering why 
that's because we don't have a stage four so if you have a stage four you have to use this exact event you have to copy um stage events okay and names events okay so you have to set this if you have a stage four paste you have to set this if you have stage four stage five you have to keep on placing this exact um action in the scene um before that scene okay so if we had a stage four um this would work perfectly now um okay so that's all um that's how to create that's how to link your score across stages um thanks for watching